Yo, yo, what's up, guys? The last place you want to be in a relationship is the last to know. So I'm going to give you guys five daily, five signs, some five deadly signs to let you know when relationship is over. It's where you get the heads up, right? Because the worst place, like I said, you want to be is on the back end of a relationship that's already gone dead and you don't know about it. You're the last to know. So some of these signs, they're clear, but sometimes we get ahead of ourselves with life and everything going on. So here, here they go. Number one, sex is lacking right when it comes to sex women are the feminine energy she wants to be connected to you again wants to be close so if she hesitates when it comes to sex never initiate sex right never she's not interested guys he's trying to find an exit the women that lose interest like this they're not trying to connect with you at all not trying to take your sexual level or any other kind of level they don't want to bond with you next one number two the constant need for space, right? She doesn't want to connect. She wants to stay with you. She wants to avoid being in the area. You go in one room, she gets on her phone or goes to another room. She leaves where you are, your surroundings. Why? Her being around you is equal to pain. Don't forget, we draw more toward pleasure to avoid pain. So <laughs> if you are in, with a woman that doesn't want to be and share your space, because women, when they love you, they want quality time. They want to be in your space. It's the total opposite. But every time you go to one room, if you go in the kitchen, she goes in the living room. You go in the living room, she goes upstairs. So that's a clear sign she doesn't want to be around you. Now, this is all, unless you've done something, unless you've created some kind of situation with where you pissed her off, you know, other than that, and oftentimes you pissed her off, it's short. It's, it's short-lived, right? It's something you did, ah, oh, probably last week I didn't do this, or I left the toilet seat up, or you see it'll jog your memory. What happens with this, when women fall out of love, they fall out of love over time. The same way when women fall in love, they fall in love at a time, over time. So the fact that for women, love is slow and burning, right? But for us, by the time she's already pissed off or done with you, we don't know these things. It's the last, we're like, what happened? We were just laughing yesterday. We're having a good time yesterday. Yeah, but she's been planning her exit all this time. So let's continue. Conversations are, are minute, right? Chances are, if you're trying to, you, she comes home from work most of the time. She's talking about her day, or she's at USC how her day was. She goes off, oh, was this and did that, da, 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 or this girl at work, da, 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 da. but if you go, if you ask her, you know, how was a day, or you ask her, you know, we want breakfast, or do you want to eat something? She goes, yes, no, okay. And you get these deadpan one word answers, guys. She's really not trying to communicate. Again, feminine energy is communication, talking, bonding, connecting, right? Women do that very well, but when she's not in interested in doing that with you guys, she's not interested, period. She's not interested, she's not involved. She doesn't want to get involved with you. She doesn't want to take it any further. Breaking dates. You guys have plans to go to dinner or go do movies or she, you do one of the things she likes to do. You try to set it up for her. She says, yeah, yeah, yeah. But by the time the date comes that day, she can't, she doesn't feel, she's not in the mood or she stages an argument. So then next, now you can't go on a date. So, or she breaks it. She totally forgets. Ah, oh, you know, I forgot about that. Can we do it next time? You know, I, I, maybe I'll make it up or whatever. So if she keeps breaking dates, guys, she's not interested. Women that want to go out, that are, are, they're excited, right? They can't wait. They're telling their friends at work, oh, we're going out tonight. We're going to this dinner, blah, 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 a restaurant or whatever it is. They're excited. She's not excited. She's not excited, guys. Simple. All right. Take the hint. Know what to do. Move as such disrespectful putting you down right ridiculing you right making you look small oh well if he had more of this we, you would be that or i wish we had more of these things or, or we never have anything anyway what's the point what's the use so all these little 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 digs that she gives out uh, to let you know she's not happy right she's not happy eventually she was gonna, she's gonna leave so again unless you've done something guys you need to adjust and correct yourself. Have that talk with her. Set her down. Give her that eye to eye, and find out what's really popping with her. And what's what's if you've done something you, again, you have to you gotta realize and check yourself. Run back the tape and see if maybe I've done something to piss her off, and I just I overlooked it because I was so busy, right? So oftentimes we get too busy. Don't get too busy for your relationship to find to leave her to the sideline. Never get too busy to lose or lose your focus where you live, where you stay, where you're at, right? That's the core of the happiness for both of you. So again, as a leader, you gotta take charge and recognize and realize and adjust. Like, subscribe, comment below. And you know, your family, your family, you know I got you. XL and
I'm out.